Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing like a little chit chat while I try on some new makeup. I already started um, with the primer. I've actually never used primer before. Um, so today was my first day and hopefully we'll see how it works throughout the day. And then I tried some, um, some new loose powder, like setting powder. But, um, I mean, I've tried it from e.l.f. before, but I've been struggling. Like, all of the stuff that I got is drugstore makeup. I really need to invest in, like, high-end makeup when it comes to certain things. So, setting powder is definitely one of them. So, there are some topics that I wrote down. Okay, so... I just wanted to say, like, obviously, if you've been watching my channel, I've been uploading some heavy content, and it's, you know, because of what's happening in the world, so, of course, my content is going to reflect that. This is why I never do, like, a, this is why I don't like to do, like, chit-chat, get ready with me, because it's hard for me to talk, and do my makeup. I've been uploading a lot of like heavy content and um, there's like one more video. Hopefully I upload it if I'm not too chicken shit. But I promise this is the last time I'll be crying on my channel for a long time. Um, yeah, I just feel like I need some more upbeat content right now to balance out with all the heavy stuff. Um, oh yeah, so because like everything going on I've been like kind of taking a break specifically like on social media like I'll just not get on there as much or maybe I'll instead of looking at you know stuff related to like racism I'll just you know look at my favorite lifestyle influencers and maybe I'll just you know just look at like some fun stuff and I just like I want to remind you guys that you need it if you need to take a break take a break um, because this is some heavy stuff and it's not good for your physical or mental health to be like constantly consuming that kind of content um, so I've been kind of like not so active as far as like the social justice that's happening right now um, and I don't want to feel guilty about that like I'm still gonna be doing the work and I'm still gonna be helping the change um, but also like take care of yourself and take a break so uh, I'm wondering if I should cut it sometimes I cut it because my eyes are small but Okay, update. So I resigned from my job. Um, I'm a preschool teacher and along with acting, I've always loved um, kids and like early childhood education. Um, so I was at a great school actually, a Montessori school. Oh my god. Um, so I really love the school. It's an amazing school. I just felt like because of everything going on and COVID-19 that it would be better for me to do in-home care for children, um, for like a family, um, to like lower my exposure to COVID-19 and just to, I mean, that, that was my main concern. It's just like we're in some super scary times. So, um, and who knows when the school is going to reopen, probably in the fall. Um, they're trying to like reopen sooner, but it's just like, it's a lot going on. So, um, right now I am doing in-home care for family and it's an amazing family. I'm really like blessed to be with them and 
yeah so and I don't know if like I told you guys but um I'm also a property manager um, my parents started a real estate company and um, so I joined the company as uh, the property manager so basically managing the properties um, um, so yeah I think that's really cool and I hope that <laughs> it's so long I'm gonna have to cut it I'm gonna have to cut it okay so basically if you need to cut your lashes don't do the shorter side do the longer side What I found what also works for me is like to like lay it down flat. So, do you want to say hi? Come here. Always trying to escape. Hello. This is Mr. Tigur. Say hi. Look at his bow. me. <gasps> Beanie and I are trying to take a trip soon. Obviously it's gonna be like a quarantine trip because um, so because it is like a quarantine vacation there's only so much we can do. Um, I My main goal is just to like swim in a pool or go to the beach while like still social distancing. It'll just be nice to like leave and do something different. It'll be a nice little break. Okay, so um, I have my lashes on and I'm just putting like a little bit of concealer on the inner corners of my eyes so that um, my eyes don't look completely covered by these really heavy lashes. I should have gotten like... I bought it liquid because the highlighter that I've had for like a long time is powder and I feel like it just doesn't mix well with my makeup so I'm trying this out and it's wet and wild. Um, so we'll see. I'm so hungry. I don't, like, I'm not someone who cooks. I make, <laughs> I make my husband cook me my meals. So when he's not here, I'm literally starving myself to death or, um, just eating snacks or ordering takeout. Interesting. I was not expecting that. Okay, I'm so scared. Oh, okay, let's put like a little here. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, so I'm just gonna get, um, I know this is so ghetto, but I just use these little sponge things from the drugstore. Oh my God. Okay, now it disappeared. What's going on? This is kind of weird. It's like disappearing. On this side, it's still there. I wonder if I use my finger. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, it's much better than my um my powder, but it's not the best. If you guys have any recommendations for um, liquid highlighters from like high end lines, just let me know in the comments. Okay, let's see how it does on my nose. And I know I already look kind of greasy. I'm gonna try to put some uh, setting powder on again to kind of make it matte in certain areas. Okay, let's try this on my nose. Better not mess up, I swear. It is so pigmented. I like it, the application is just like kind of interesting. Now I'm gonna have to try to figure out. And then I want like a little bit in the corner of my eyes. It is so liquidy. So after this, I'm literally gonna be doing nothing. Like when I'm not working, I I mean, because of quarantine, but also I'm a homebody. I feel like I'm like even more of a homebody because of quarantine. Like I, where were we the other day? We were at Burlington. They just reopened and there was a huge sale. And they were like, um, you know, the signs on the floor that says, please practice social distancing. And it's six feet away from the other people. And it was a long ass line and the people behind me like were literally right behind me. And I had to get in front of my cart to like make some space. And I'm like, these people do not understand like social distancing. They don't understand six feet. And it was just like giving me anxiety. So, ooh, I love it. Oh my God. Oh yeah, an update on like me like losing weight and being healthy. Um, as far as like the exercising, completely fell off once like the George Floyd death happened, and then it was just so it was so emotional, and it was a roller coaster that like my self care went out the window. Like trying to keep up with the workouts, it was like the last thing on my mind. So, I didn't keep up with that, um, but I have been like more, I have like been c consistent with like my food changes and I've seen like a little bit of change there. Um, so, okay, so this is the color that I got. It's just red, it's wet and wild. I have a red color from MAC. It's Ruby Woo, I think. But I just wanted to treat myself. Or anything. Oh my god. <gasps> You're kidding me. You are kidding me. It got all over my shirt. This is so ghetto. This is why you don't buy $1 makeup. Okay, so that was a disaster. Okay. I think this is good. This is good. Put it here. In this area. And here.
Mm. I'm starting to like, cake under my eyes. That's like my biggest problem. I've been watching Hoarders on Netflix. And I love shows like that. Like psychology and like... But the thing is, I just watched an episode yesterday and they barely like went into the psychology of the elderly couple who was hoarding. Like they just kept telling them, you have to, um, you have to get rid of this stuff or else you're gonna go to jail and you're gonna lose your house. But like, they didn't go into like, you need to do this for your mental and emotional and physical health. They didn't go into why they hoard in like childhood, childhood traumas and all that kind of stuff. Like it was really, and this is, I think it was like the 10th season. So I don't know, maybe the show is like turning into kind of like a reality show type of thing where it's like just put on a show. But I liked the episodes where like they actually, you know, dug into whatever trauma they were dealing with because hoarding is, you know, the symptom of the issue. So, I feel like in another life I'm a, like a therapist or a psychologist, whatever. This is the final look. 